That's worse than when Smitty called me a Jew <laughs> at four in the morning. <laughs> if somebody does that to me, it was crazy. You're dead yeah. to me I was forever. So and you're mad. probably gone. I was so mad. Barstool Pick'em Week Three, brought to you by our friends at Game Time. Exclusive ticketing partner of Barstool Sports, created by fans for fans. Game Time is the new ticketing app that makes it easier than ever to score last minute deals on tickets to sports, concerts, and shows, and they guarantee the lowest price. If you haven't given Game Time a shot yet, what are you waiting for? We've had tons of Barstool fans using it, letting us know about the great deals they are getting. We've been using Game Time all year, and we uh, actually, Big Ev went to Iowa, Iowa State, and he had a great, great time. We were out in Iowa City. Next week, we're going to Knoxville, Florida, Tennessee. is going to be an incredible game. We're going to use Game Time to get in. It's so easy to use. Amazing deals. You're going to love it. Download the Game Time app. Go to the account tab to create a login and redeem code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Download Game Time. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed with Game Time. Use that code PICKEM for $20 off your first purchase. Okay. Week three. Week three. Week three. Game of the year was a war. It fell flat. It hurt me so bad. I was up till 3 a.m., had first and goal on the three-yard line to win the bet. Just devastating. And, and it it obviously, if they score, changes it, but we had a chance to cash. Both. The, yeah, everything. Yeah, the pick and parlay. Everything. And it was, you know, I said it last week when I put a game of the year in, I I do a lot of units, and uh, I was actually trending on Twitter because I think I was the only person tweeting about it. Was, that. Yeah, it I was woke just up to a it ton. was just me, and it was actually funny because I, I, this is why our fans are the best in the world. I people were so mad at me in the first half; they were just trashing me, and then it became such a war that I think I earned respect back because I was like, "We're not going down." Where Elio was sending me uh, videos of him playing with this stuffed animal the whole time. <laughs> Like, he's like, this is a good luck stuffed animal he was doing. Elliot was doing his Twitter videos, but just for me privately. And, like, it was just insane. Also, I didn't tell you this, Dave. We almost had to get a new T-shirt designer. Yeah. Yeah. Triggs. Why? I love Triggs. So we're good now. Triggs texted me. I think he was drinking. He was oh, having a good day. He texted he me. He The first text was, uh, I can't believe you have me staying up for this game. Like, this is crazy. So, obviously, I assumed he took it with me. They don't get the the touchdown. Baylor, the guy fucking throws it out of the end, end zone. Triggs texts me. He goes, let's go. I needed that one. And I was like, what are you talking about? He's like, I had to fade you. And I was like, why would you text oh. me that? Ooh. And I was like, why would you text me that? It's 3 in the morning. And he's like, you understand. Like, you know, you're a gambler. I was like, no, I don't understand why you just texted me that You're, you're, you're good with him now? No. Well, so, okay. So, listen. <laughs> Here's what here's what reversal. happened. I said to him, I was like, I was like, I don't understand this at all. I'll never understand this. Have a good night. I ended it with that, and I went to bed, and I was like, if I have the correct text in my phone when I wake up in the morning, we'll be good. And I had the correct text. He was like, I'm so sorry. Like that was I was I was drinking all day. I did not mean to do that. I understand how fucked up that was. And I was like, we're good. If it was bad, let though. me say this wow. to Triggs or anybody else <laughs> at this company. That's worse than when Smitty called me a Jew <laughs> at four in the morning. If somebody does that to me, it was crazy. You're dead yeah. to me I was forever. So and you're mad. probably gone. I was so mad because it was like he he like baited me because I thought. Oh my god! And like the I fact I, I don't I don't even know what Triggs looks like to be honest. But I mean, he's, like very he's tall. A, he's a great guy, and he, he's, he's he if he did that to me, there's no coming back. Yeah, no. I I literally only said like I was like if I wake up because I had to wake up at seven thirty with my kids. That's crazy. What I was, was like he doing if I wake up and I have the text already in there, so I'm not gonna text. I was never gonna text him again. I literally was never gonna text him again. It was gonna be like relationship over that meme. Like, you know, now my new friend is this guy. I can't believe you haven't told me that. Story. Job posting I, I was on saving LinkedIn. it for this. I was saving that for this show. That is crazy. Crazy. The timing I'll, of it had to have hurt, too. If it was an afternoon Rico, game, is it, it was, less worse than 3 in the morning? It was 2.30 two in the morning, and I was dead. I was I don't like, know that. The, I, don't I know that. I don't know that I, the timing saying, matters on a game of the year if you Dan, do that. Yeah, but okay. All right, so yeah, he said... Uh, game of the year, game of the year, but I think 3 in the morning makes it worse than 5 o'clock at night. No, I don't think so. Dan? 
He said, had to fade you. I was Dan. ice all day. Dan. <laughs> You're a big boy. You can have your own thoughts. Dan. Well, he's now Dan. going to an arbitrator. You're a, big Dan. League. You're a major league no, guy this now. No, okay. I'll, I'll defend Rico in this. It would have pissed me off no matter what time. Yes. It definitely, the reason why it hurt so much is I was, I, like, I was basically like castaway at three in the morning. I was yeah, the only one up in America. Yeah. If you're if you're tweeting as much as you are, game of the year, which you had multiple units, and somebody does at the end in the opposite side, they're, 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 they're dead. I still want uh, K Stats, her oh, friend, yeah. fucking murdered. Katie, who has yeah. nothing to do with <laughs> us. But on the plane ride home, I I said I'm only going to bet the same units the entire season, and I got myself off kilter. And I told you, I sat. We were in Iowa, and I said probably to myself. Five times, I'm working myself into a frenzy about a game. I'm working myself into a frenzy about a game. I didn't say the game, and then I find that I'm like, a and M. I love AM. and I think they're going to fucking absolutely destroy App State. They're not going to be able to score. The worst pick ever, so it didn't matter. But you got in my head. I put, I put we're on my card. And I, I doubled up. We're on the plane ride home. It's 7-7, um, and A&M gets a scoop and a score, and – I instantly, I'm like, oh, is it review? And then we start hearing some people being like, they are reviewing it. Katie Stats pipes up 14-7. Now, for the score to be 14-7, that means it the the score held. They kick, it, kick the extra point. It's good. No. Katie had some friend who I don't know who this person is who texted her 14-7. Watching the game. Yeah. Watching the game. It was crazy. It, by the way. The scoop and score did not hold. They said it was a four pass, and App State went down and scored a touchdown. Game over. Yeah. We're, to text 14 7, There's that no means extra you point, saw the, the extra, extra point. point. Yeah. You can't add extra points. I don't know points. who this person is. Case. Oh, she yeah, should no, be no, dead. Not anymore. All right. And also, and so on record, wasn't my. It wasn't me saying the wrong thing at this time. I yes. did the messenger, so it's not an Iowa Correct. state. But this, who, this person was just a person, right? Who is this person? Uh, she's a friend from college. Killer. Yeah. Dead. I told her. Dead. And now we also have I wanted to have TJ in here because we got to give TJ a little lesson. So this yes. is just this is the text message show. So Triggs, you're good with me now. Dave might want I, you dead. Well, um, no, that wasn't me. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he's lucky he, he, he didn't did that, that to you. me. Yeah, you're yeah. far more forgiving than I am. I just looked back and he said uh all all my entire Twitter feed was you and I just said so then fucking unfollow me. I don't give a fuck. That's yeah. what I said to him. And I said have a good night. I, I probably would have tried to go to HR and find a creative way to fire him he, because he I listened. don't think you can like fire over like he bet the opposite side, but he'd have to be he, fired he, or he, punished he, or like stoned or something. I just looked back at the at the uh at the text message he sent me in the morning, he said, as a gambler, I want to wholeheartedly apologize for my actions last night. And he went on and he explained it. So, again, he texted no that to me, me at, that, at that's like 7.15 in the morning. If you murder a family member and you're like, I was drunk, I didn't know, I'm, I don't, who cares? I'm a little more The person's lenient. still dead. I love um, the guy. He makes incredible graphics for us. Um, so, Triggs so, is good in my book, but TJ, we need you in here. And, and that you was did also, nothing wrong. You did no, nothing wrong. No, we were also having, so here's the thing. When we travel. Yeah. And then we come back. A lot of times, there's there's bullets. It, it's a war scene. Bullets are flying. People are coming at you with swords. There's a million games, and our Wi-Fi on the plane is spotty at best. Yes. Everyone's trying to get scores. No one knows what's happening. For some reason, I, that you can text people on the ground easier than you get updates. So we start texting people or watching the game for updates. TJ is one of those guys. Um, using that same... A and M play yep. that Katie put on the board. Um, TJ did say he 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 said so, scoop and score. I think the next text he said scoop and score, but it's under review. And correct. Now we need color. Yeah. on that so we don't need you forward. to say, oh, it, it's going to be reversed or not. But we need an honest opinion. Like, am I excited? That one was reversed. And like, I think. Uh, Casey maybe was talking to her dad and was the first, like, I, I think this is coming back. We need – it's not enough to say under review. You have to tell us. Your it opinion. It looks okay. good. You got to be we Mike We won't hold you yeah. for that. No, right. that's – But we got to know what the what it looks like. Got it. It can't just be it's under review. Yeah. And then Katie <laughs> chimed 14-7. It's like, oh, it's on the board. I knew that stunk. I said it before. Yeah, I, know. I go, did she watch the extra point? And there was silence until it came back. It's like, well, okay, App State's driving down the field. So yeah. 
Um, but you did a great job, TJ. I think you're going to have to be the guy on go. the ground for us when we're in the air. Fine. But we that was the only lesson. We need... Wait, what, what did TJ do? I'm confused. So, okay, so TJ texted. He's you like, can't just say it's under review. Under review. We had no idea. Like, when it goes under review, TJ... And, and again, he did a good job. I, we hadn't had this conversation yet. But when you text updates to us, we need, a, like, an unbiased opinion. Okay. Like, look like his arm was coming forward. Or you know like, what I mean? Like eighty percent like of reviews, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. right away. Right, you like, don't that's need the official back. person. I figure, yeah. Don't yeah. put myself in a bad situation by saying I think it's coming back. Yeah, and but then we it doesn't. We want then... op opinions on reviews right. that you are Mike Pereira for. The, right, yeah, we don't, we're not going to hold Correct. you to it. There's right. a yeah. very going, different going in the box. There yeah. is a very different. There, there's a difference between giving your opinion and then saying fourteen seven, for Got example. Yeah, but you didn't do that. You you were good. But so yeah, TJ, you're gonna have to be our guy going forward. Sounds good. All right. So that was it. Was a hell. It was a hellscape. It was a, a scene where I was. We both were just dying for updates. We couldn't get a single update. TJ, thank you. Opinions on reviews count. I Correct. also I I was driving back to Brooklyn with Rudy, and he was doing all the scores for me while I was driving, and I had to give him a lesson on like tone because he would be like. Washington State first down. I'm like, dude, I I need you to pretend like I just lost a family member. Correct. Yeah. And so by the I, by listen, the time we got to Brooklyn, he was doing. It's he was a skill. like, and, and yeah, I I, I love him rooting for. Uh, yeah. No, he he got it down where he was like, another first down for App State. It, like that's how he would deliver. I was like, good. That's exactly what I need. That was like a three week training course with my wife. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. You got, I, a, you got a time and place. You know, and I love the score. Canna we bought out. the yeah. score. We own the score. They were doing wonky things this week. They yeah. they were just it almost like they had a prankster running their thing. They were putting up things that just weren't happening. Yeah. And the chat was just firing yeah, off at yeah. them. It was awesome. El, you know, Ellie is a chat troll. Oh. Elio goes into the score and just gives fake stuff just to create. He's an agent of chaos. <laughs> like that. on the live stream. Like to be like pick six. To be like home run on a strikeout. Or, yeah, right. They go out the first down. He just goes in to fuck with people. He's an agent of chaos. Those, was, those score chats are, are a wild. They're wild. They're, wild. they're so like, much fun. You need, like you need an MIT degree to figure out what actually happened. I generally can, but it, it because there's Elio's in there, like just agents of chaos. <laughs> they should have people certified. Yeah. Yeah, they should. Like, if you're yeah, not a troll, you should be certified. Checker. Maybe talk to point. Yeah. It was it was a crazy Saturday though. It was our first Saturday on the road, and it really like Dave and I have just. It's been so many years we've been doing it. It's just time is a flat circle. Just in a car, in a bus, on a plane, dying for the Ohio State first quarter. That, that was, was that killed me. One that of was the it. worst beats I've ever seen. He, and that's not exaggerating. Dan yeah. had first quarter Ohio State. Uh, they, I don't know how it always happens like this. He needed a touchdown. They're driving down under a minute, under 30 seconds to the point they have one play left at like the five. The guy looked like he caught it and broke the plane, but he like kind of got stripped. They didn't review it. You could have argued he broke the plane. If he didn't fumble it, it, it would have been a touchdown. It was just crazy. It was nuts. It and was then a nuts day. The, uh, you always end up – You we were home watching the end of that Pittsburgh game. Oh. Was, that was – the Pittsburgh lost their quarterback. They just couldn't do a goddamn thing running Sword up the it. middle. They scored a miracle touchdown to get overtime. We had both sides. Both sides. And lost both. And, and that was one of those ones where, uh, like, I would say there's not many things I'm elite at. Actually, probably not anything except for spotting when we're in trouble far before we're in yeah, trouble. Right. Remember I said that in the second quarter? Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. we're I, in trouble. I wasn't surprised. I yeah. didn't dictate pace very well. No, I just knew. I, I You could just tell by a – like, you just have that feeling like, okay, especially when it's a hot start and it was a yep. hot start, and you're like, eh, we haven't scored in a few minutes here. This is a trouble game. We had the Arkansas game, which Dan and I were on opposite sides of. Uh, yeah, you'll see stool scenes. Dave and I had a handshake we, off. We, we on had the plane. multiple hands because I, that was one that I sensed. I was <laughs> like Arkansas jumped out, and I could tell the way it was going. I'm like Arkansas is not out of the woods here. They if they don't score again, they're not going to cover. I turned out to be right because they actually returned an onside kick that led to a touchdown. But we thought that game was over. But it, I, it, we shook hands. I was like, Good it bet. was done. It was Arkansas's. Uh, Arkansas's ball. Wait, what was it? it was, they got a yeah. Oh yeah, Arkansas got a safety. Yeah, and that yeah. looked like it ended it. I didn't even know you could onside kick a safety. Yeah, but the other team onside kicked 
uh, safety and recovered it. And South Carolina had the ball back, so we shook hands, and then Dave made me take the handshake back, and then he shook hands, and then made me take that one yeah, back. Yeah, there was a lot going on. It was yeah. crazy. It was crazy. 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 It's always like and that. And then you've Saturday. told the story a million times, but what? And I love hearing it. What was the one when you were in the car and his Wi-Fi was fast? Oh, that was me, Hank. That was actually, like, the maddest we've ever been at each other because it was <laughs> Boise State versus, like – He was, like, half a play ahead or something. BYU. That was MLB. And Dave, he, no, it was, it was college football. It was a Friday night. We were out in L.A., and it was – Dave was convinced that my app was, like, a second <laughs> faster. Was. This was and legitimately he, nine years ago. Yeah, and way. he was so mad at me. He was like, you're giving me updates, and you're faster than me. Elio, like, oh, no. uh, again, Elio, age kiss. When, when he always was, asks who I have and tries to break the news, I have to shut my phone off. Oh, yeah, he loves breaking bad news. Loves it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't even – I didn't start gambling until I was probably, like, 21. I was 20 at this time, and I remember being in the car and being like – what's wrong with these guys <laughs> we're just screaming at like each that's other. how long it's been where i was like, like you I don't, stop I was, you stop giving updates you have a faster i was like no i don't but you were sitting next to each other yeah right? yeah, yeah. We're so sitting, you yeah. just put your yeah. phone down and just look no, no you can't you do can't. that that's, that's somebody who doesn't really get yeah it. i mean that's, that's not true oh that but that's a I fact like i just read that out no 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 you were sitting in a car right that's somebody absolutely same way who has a cleaner stream on a watch no 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 no, you're you're wrong, Rico. Right. That's All a wrong. wrong. I, there'll be a commercial break in the game, and I'll still be trying to get updates on the game. That's how like you have to have updates constantly. And you don't want like you want them. You yeah. want you want to see it with your own eyes. You don't want because you don't believe. I don't believe anyone. And you're working an like you're not just on the phone. You're working. You you mojo. You're covering numbers to break it the right way. And then someone just comes in and cuts your legs out. It's like, oh, it's done. I'm dead. Yeah. If you don't have an update on like a big third down, you can't help them get that third Correct. down. You Correct. need to be there for Correct. your team. Correct. That's just how it works. If I don't if I don't watch any of the games, I can't I can't affect any of them. That's I agree with you. Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Listen, I'm always the guy with the slower phone. So if I like, and I get mad and fucking hit it. So like, if I know someone's gonna have a faster phone, I will agree to that. Maybe that's where we're different. No, I would okay. have to. I have to have my own phone. I have to see it. I have to like we even do on the on the planes because we're convinced that if everyone else shuts off their Wi-Fi and we just use one phone, it will be faster. And I always tell everyone. I announce. I'm like, all right, everyone, shut off your Wi-Fi. Like Dave's gonna try to use his phone. I never shut off. And, my and Wi-Fi. there, and, I never shut and off. And there's my no. Wi-Fi. You see when someone yeah. refreshes, everyone's head like my yeah. head. I don't want to get the results from somebody else. Yeah. I want. I need it direct from yeah. my own eyes. Um. Okay. So that was week two. Bad, bad. I'm off to a bad start. Dave, you're at 51%, 25, 24, and 2. Yeah, uh, the A&M game killed me. Killed yeah, me. Killed, killed me too. Me. You owe me one. Um, I do. I'm 36, 45, and 3. Just, again, it happened to me where I was like, bad to start, great middle slate, and then just gave it all back at night. And then, Rico, you are 10 and 22. Yeah, bad start. You had a good week last week for you, though. Six Eight and nine. nine. Six, six and nine. nine. Six and nine is pretty good for you. Dude, could you put yourself ahead of me in the Bob Diaco? I mean, I give well, you winner. What's the t- yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, so the Bob two Diaco and one and two and one. Bob Diaco okay. is tied at two and one at the top. Yeah. The BYU game, I won't. I'm I'm done with game what of the years until November. But you know what I had, Dave? This this is how bad week one went for me in NFL and college football. I actually had the real thought that I was like, what if I just didn't gamble in September? Like what if I waited and saw what everyone everything shook out? I'm a little different. I'm just like I gotta make my deposit last. My initial I, uh, the, if you're following my gambling, the A and M game hurt me, hurt and me then too. the Cowboys game killed me, and then uh, my my airport ride from Teterboro to here where I lost 140 grand in five seconds, losing like 25 straight hands of blackjack. Those have put me behind the eight ball, but it is early. It is early. A lot to make up. Rico, do you want to say – you want to apologize for the Miami? We we told you about that one, the Miami and the A&M over. Yeah, those were we both We did long. have that Miami conversation. Miami left some points on the board. Southern Miss left some points on the board. I thought that game should have gone – should have gone over. Okay. I watched the entire thing. Should have okay. gone over, but you guys had the winner. That's what it comes down to. Winners matter. Well, I didn't, I I didn't take it. No. Dead wrong on yeah. well, dead you, wrong on the A&M over. Yeah. Okay. Um – Anything else before we get to games? Uh, I guess as a tradition, I'll just read the top twenty oh, bloggers. Surely of this Rico's week. popped in there now. After uh, it was my initial, let's get some blogging numbers up there. So since we've been doing it, it's just a tradition. The top twenty bloggers of this week in order: Riggs, number one, workhorse. Hubs, Matt Fitzgerald. Uh, who's Matt Fitzgerald? 
Um, he's a he, blogger. Yeah, the guy who won the U.S. Open. No, he's uh, oh. he's a Cleveland blogger. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. Who How about that? Great. Oh, he's the guy who I had like a couple Mac coaches. Oh, like, Mac oh. coaches text me, be like, "Hey, there's a guy saying that like he works for Barstool." Wait, here. wait, I know who we're talking about. Yeah, what's his name? Matt Fitzgerald. Is there another Cleveland guy? Wait, though? yeah, there, there is, is another Burge. Cleveland guy. This isn't Birch. No, it's okay. not Birch. Yeah, okay. Matt Fitzgerald was at the Mac Coaches Conference, and it and I got texts from like staff members being like, "Hey, there's this guy who says he works for Barstool," and I texted Gaz. He's like, "Oh yeah, all right. I think he, you know, he's grinding with college grinding. three, grinding, doing him. interviews with college coaches. Yeah, good, no, good what for we him. Need. I I love it. Again, he's this grinding. is my point oh, wow. that if you put oh, in the no. work, you can get on this oh, list no. and provide value. Reads. Now, did you see what just ha- transpired there? Grinding? No, he, Hank said grinding and interviewing college coaches is what we need. And then Rico just well, this through list, his soul. This list is what we need. You, uh, it's too bad you don't have any friends in this room. I'm a rider. You are? Yeah. Wow. Riggs. <laughs> Hubs. Matt Fitzgerald. Big Tennessee. Attaboy, Big Tennessee. Just, hey, Big T. This is almost like a I'm work. I'm happy that guy didn't die. This is almost like a work ethic <laughs> list for me. Uh, Riggs. Hubs. Matt Fitzgerald. Big Tennessee. Jerry Thornton. Marty Mush. Clem. Chiefs. Stephen Shea. Kelly Keegs. Bob Fox. Large. Kate. Banks. Glenny Balls. Jordy. I'm on this list at number 17. Imagine all the things wow. that I'm doing and I make this blogging list. That's crazy. El Presente, 17. Dante, 18. 19. Tyler Marin. I'm a, I apologize. Who is that? That's the finance guy. Oh, finance. Again, if you just put in the time and then drum roll, wrapping it up. Drum oh, this roll, is 20. This is going to be you, Rico. This is going to be you. Here we go, Rico. This is going to be you. His first week as a Barstool employee, Jeff Nadu. Oh, no. He's One 20. week. One appearance on the list. Top 20? One weekend? Okay. Fuck. There's three weeks of me giving this list. Got it. Can we get you on the... I'm on the list. Nadu, one week on the list. Can I Can I do a little story time, too? Sure. It's, it's, this has nothing to do with this anyone in this room. This is not picking on anybody. Anybody no. who listens to this fairly would be like, I, I don't know what Rico is doing. It's pretty easy to get on this list. It, Seems, I mean, look at be. the people on seems the list. To be. It, all, it, it, effort, the want to be on this list. It seems easy to crack. The, I made this list without trying. Yeah. Okay. Uh, my story is nothing to do with anyone in this room. It's just more like Big Cat's Player of the Week. My Player of the Week this week is Jersey Jerry because the whole saga with his parlay was incredible. That was tough. Also, Jersey Jerry came up to me, told me that he received the news that a uh, friend of Jerry's might not get greenlit further because the numbers. And what he said to me, Dave, he said, that's okay. I'm just going to keep doing it myself and keep working hard and something will happen for me. I like that I was effort. like, wow, Jerry, that's some great, that's a great attitude to take. I was like, so you don't, I asked him, so you don't think it's a personal slight against you that they told you this. He's like, no, of course not. Just got to work harder. Do something different. Desire, get in, the, get, get, get in there. It was a nice story. Um, okay, did you – anything? Nope. Will we think see you on this list next week? A lot of my stuff is longer. Mm. But, yeah, okay, if you're looking for – But you put out a very good uh, – your Gottlieb thing. That was great. Yeah, that and was I, actually very good. And, and and I texted you, I gave him an out of boy. I go, this is great. Did you blog it? No. Oh. Shit. Give me get, why. Give me something. Why? I just. I thought we're moving toward like all right. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do both. I'll do both. It's really easy. What do you mean you thought? Because I'm reading the top 20 blogger list literally every single week trying to see if we can get you on it. So what did you think? To grow TikTok. Like it cut, you, it, you did. You did a great thing. Yeah, you could just thing. literally pop the thing onto a blog and hit blog. All right. It's, yeah. Okay. So I'm this rooting is, for you, Rico. But this isn't, right. I want to make it very clear. You think you're getting attacked. I didn't say that. But like anyone listening is like, this guy just doesn't want it. I mean, I, right. I, I'm, I'm, that will be, cl- that will be very evident in the comment section. <laughs> but you just kind of <laughs> prove my point. <laughs> well, it won't, I mean, the comment, you have to blog to have a comment section. No, but people are going to tweet, be like, Rio don't want, it's like, I, it, it, 
We're getting. We're, I, I don't know. I'm speechless. Okay. okay. Let's get to some games. Uh, brought to you by Roman. Swipes. I am going to read that every week. Yeah. So people oh, can I, do I knew, what they I want. I knew you were. Yeah. Every week I am going to read that. Come on, Rico. You got this. Maybe top okay. top fifteen. What are you thinking? You probably would have been close to in it if you just press blog. Like I don't even honestly know how I'm in it. <laughs> I think it was the nine eleven. Uh, just the repost. Yeah, was a big, big page view blog. Like you, all right. No picking on you. What I would do, content brain. I'd walk out of the studio and I'd write a blog saying. I got to get in the top 20. Here's a blog. Literally, that's what I would do the first thing I did. I'd be like, Dave keeps releasing the top 20 on Pick'em. I, he, he says that I have to get to the top 20. End of blog. Here's I, a picture of some tits. I, I blog just, gets uh, made. I, I <laughs> Like, that's literally how easy I is. actually That's think, like getting a tin cup. No, right? that's... But, but he's telling... He's do. literally telling you what to do, and you, you, can't, you can't process it. I actually think getting in the top 20 blogger list is arguably the easiest thing you can do at this company. I think anybody who shows, like, hey, I, I'm going to make this list, can make that list this. Mm -hmm. the, it's look at the names on the list. No one's blogging up a storm. I will read this list every week. We will do this exercise every week. That's very clear to most of us here. Okay, Roman. Roman swipes convenient over-the-counter wipes that are clinically proven to help you last longer in bed. They're uniquely formulated to reduce overstimulation without eliminating sensation altogether. Guys, if you're coming too quick, you need the Roman swipes. Just swipe it on, and it's ready to go. When used as directed, Roman swipes leave no scent or taste, so there's no transfer to your partner. They're safe, effective, and no prescription is needed. All swipes and orders include free two-day shipping and arrive in unmarked packaging. Try today for as little as two seventy-five per swipe. Try swipes today with a special offer just for our listeners. Get twenty percent off your first order at getroman.com slash pick'em today. That's getroman.com slash pick'em for twenty percent off your Roman swipes. Make sure that you are lo lasting longer in bed, up to four times fat longer. Getroman.com slash pick'em today. Getroman.com slash pick'em for twenty percent off. Okay. Games. Not the best slate this week. Probably apple picking weekend. Yeah, but this is why I love college football because you could have said the argument last week that it wasn't the best slate and you have maximum chaos. So let's start. First game, Oklahoma at Nebraska. Nebraska plus 11 over under 67 and a half. Rico, I'll start with you. Oklahoma has not been overwhelming. Nebraska has been pretty bad. Well, uh, Scott Frost got fired. I agree. It's the obvious, like, take the interim, they got to fire it up mm -hmm. type coach. I don't mm -hmm. know if they have the talent. To me, it's Nebraska. I don't love Oklahoma. I'm just going to take Nebraska. I do think the public will be on Nebraska, which doesn't, which I don't like either, but I'm going to take Nebraska. Okay. I, 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 that was, to me, a weird analysis of the game from, because I thought this line was really low. Yeah. Uh, because Nebraska is a joke and the worst team arguably in college football. I mean, they they got smoked by – well, no, it was a close game. They lost to Northwestern. But Northwestern was terrible. Northwestern just got killed by Duke. Um, they barely – well, they struggle with North Dakota, who stinks. And they just lost to Georgia Southern at home. Nebraska is horrible. Interim coach we like. Who – I have some stats about him. Mickey Joseph, former Nebraska Cornhuskers quarterback. couple things. One, uh, 1990, I believe – Starting quarterback for Nebraska, eight and one, good season. One of the cheapest of cheap shots I've ever seen in my entire life. He got tackled like not just standing standing out of bounds, like five feet out of bounds against Oklahoma. So that is revenge game oh. one. Revenge game one. I'll sh I'll show you the clip. Maybe we'll put it into the YouTube. But that is it was one of the cheapest shots I've ever seen. Broke his leg, essentially ended his career hmm. because he never he never started again. Um, all right, watch this clip, Dave. Oh, wait, is this it? Yeah, here it is. Watch this clip, Dave. It is. Really? That is his cheap. Look, he's one, two, three, four, very, five yeah, steps very, out of bounds. Very late. Very, Oklahoma very late. ended his playing football playing career. Stat number two about Mickey Joseph. Do you know who he is 
I, I, I texted a source, and the quote was, they're like family. Who do you think he's like family with? The greatest interim head coach of all time, Coach O. He was on LSU's staff. I knew he was on LSU. I texted someone I know at LSU. I was like, what's their relationship? He said, Mickey and Coach O are like family. He literally worked under the greatest interim head coach, the greatest motivator, one-game motivator of all time. This is Nebraska plus 11. They might win this game. They might win this game. All right, I'll take them. I hate I, – I, 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 last week, if you roll back the tape, I actually took Georgia Southern because I'm like, how the fuck – can Nebraska be favored by 20 plus points versus a JV team? Yep. Never mind. And then I got scared because the line was so preposterous. That's actually how I feel about that. that's how bad Nebraska is right now. But it is the interim. But um, there, there's coaches who get fired and they lose games versus decent. They're playing terrible teams and either losing or like struggling. So. But I'll, I'll I, I'm an interim guy. You mentioned hey. Coach O, interim Ed, so I'll do it. But I, I'm going to take. You know what? I'm going to take the over. I'm going. I'll do both. I'm going to take N- Nebraska and the over. I the I, the minute that he got fired, I was like, let me look at this and try to figure out who this guy might. Yeah, be. Will, and I talked to Will Compton. He loves him. He He's, loves him. Uh, yeah, but still, they they may just be that bad. And 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 who knows? You know, LSU in in twenty nine or twenty twenty or twenty nineteen LSU was one of the best college football teams of all time. He was on that staff. They did play Oklahoma in the playoff, and they fucking obliterated. Yeah, I don't think I'm not sold on Oklahoma. I just think Nebraska is that bad. I'm just saying, I think this guy might like imagine having like he wasn't going to be a pro. He was might have played in the CFL because he's a short guy. But imagine your entire yeah, right. playing career is 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 done because of one team, and then you get to play him as the first time head coach of Nebraska Cornhuskers. I mean, that's – win one for I, Mickey. I know I keep saying it. Nebraska may just be that bad. They might be that bad, but I just – I can't I can't ignore the spot. I was going to take Oklahoma. I can't ignore the spot. All right, fine. I'll stick with it. You see what Kent State did to Oklahoma last week? They just bled the play clock down and yep. down and down and yep. screwed the over. So. Yep. Yeah, I mean, I kind of like the under in this game too, but I also don't know – I mean, I like Dylan Gabriel, so I think Oklahoma, like, they could always – they could always do it. But I'm – Mickey Joseph, interim head coach. You don't get these very often. I think he's going to have the boys playing the game of their life. Because it's, I mean, your coach gets fired. That's on you as players, you know. Game of your life. Um, okay, next up, you want to do Oklahoma? You, I, uh, I, you could, I, no, I'm going to take okay. Nebraska in the over. Uh, BYU at Oregon. I was on, you convinced me because I'm an interim guy, but I was on and Oklahoma. The fact that he's, I was on Oklahoma going into it because I, 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 that line is so preposterous. I thought it'd be 20. It's so preposterously low to me. That's how I felt again yeah. about the line last week with Georgia State. I scared myself, but I'll go with the interim. I hope Coach O gives him a speech before. <laughs> Imagine that. That'd be great. I wouldn't rule that out. Coach O going to Lincoln for his guy, Mickey. Um, all right, BYU at Oregon. Oregon's minus three and a half. Over under is fifty eight. Good pick with BYU last week, Dave. Thank you. Um, what do you got in this game? I got BYU again. Yeah, um, plus three and a half. I I, I like BYU. Yeah. BYU, uh, they always play a very tough schedule, don't they? Early, it always feels like I'm gonna take BYU going into Oregon. Tough to know what Oregon has. They obviously got smoked by uh, Georgia, but. What does that mean? Who knows? But yeah, I'm gonna take BYU. Are there receivers back? Hopefully, uh, that was the other thing I, I did. Know. I should have probably canceled the game of the Once year the when receivers. the receivers were out. But I'm I'm not a coward. It's uh, up in the air still. I'm gonna yeah. take BYU. Even I think this is close. I think they can win the game. Obviously, at three and a half. But I like having a field goal. I could see it being a field goal game. I'll take BYU. Yeah, I have BYU as well, Rico. BYU. Okay, plus three and a half. All right, next game, Penn State at Auburn. I love when these big teams play home and homes. If you remember last year. Auburn went up to Penn State. Uh, Auburn's plus three, over-under is 47.5, Rico. I mean, I hate it, but you know I'm picking Auburn. Yeah? Yeah. You hate it? Yeah. I mean, you know I'm not picking the other side. So if it wasn't uh, State Penn, you'd take them? Yes. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take Auburn at home with the points. Uh, They looked terrible last week, Auburn, but I don't think that matters getting ready for Penn State and Penn State – doesn't look like world beaters. I think it'll be a close game. I don't know. I, yeah, I'm not going to take a road team going into Auburn. All right, I'm opposite. I'm taking Penn State. I think their defense is better. 
I don't know. It might be a stupid pick. I might, you know, turn on this game. I, I do like this afternoon game, not a night game. Yeah. I think that, that favors me a little bit. But Penn State minus three is my pick. Uh, Rico, want to do an ad before we get to yeah, the last sure. two games? Uh, yeah, let's tell you about our friends at Skrill. Skrill is the perfect digital wallet for gamblers because it was built for gamblers. Sophisticated gamblers use it to manage their bankroll, whether they're playing games like poker or betting on their favorite sports. They manage their bankroll using their wallet, which allows them to pay instantly and securely. It's payments without limits, basically. You can access your bankroll with instant deposits and withdrawals most of the time and also draw the cash using your prepaid card. This gives you access to your bankroll whenever you are in the world in any currency. Skrill thinks about your security relentlessly so you don't have to share your private financial details needlessly or repeatedly. Make sure to sign up at skrill.com slash barstool to create your free account and complete the account verification by clicking follow the game after registering so you can start using your digital wallet today okay um next game texas tech at nc state this is what i mean this speaks to the slate this is i was looking through it this is the the next best game so nc state's minus 10 over under is 54 and a half i watched that texas tech houston game all the overtimes dave you had a better number that, than that me. is that is tragic that was how my day was going i had that was so a huge yeah i was following it i had over 64 and they went to overtime they went to double overtime it was the only way it was gonna because it was a low scoring game all these things happen we end up it's i think it lands at 63 33 30 yeah 33 30 you texted me i, I was like, like we shit. lost yeah. yeah i then and, and when you, i don't know the exact lines when you bet a million fucking games i had no idea what the line but i saw on the score i told texted you the score app says it went off at 62 and a half yep. You're like i had 64 um thrilling thrilling to log in knowing no idea like i can't tell anything S slowly scrolling i saw the check mark i won i had 62 and a half. found money yeah like, found money incredible so yeah that was that was another one that, that i just like crushed me crushed me um all right rico what do you got in this game i think nc state has to show up after that horrific performance against uh east carolina barely getting out of that texas tech still on the backup quarterback katie yeah. Yeah, yeah i like nc state i believe that nc state as a playoff Dark horse. Uh, the ACC is very deep. It's going to be difficult to navigate through that. But I like Leary. I like NC State's defense. I'm going with NC State. Okay. Dave. I am also going to take NC State. I think they're a very different team on the home versus the road. Yeah. I'm going to – I think that was – that East Carolina game, I'm kind of throwing it out because it was – that's a rivalry game, tough place to play, going, you know, all this – NC State's one of those teams. Actually, they're kind of like Wisconsin when they're ranked high to start the season. It's Word like, uh oh, yeah, right. You know, like you don't you you want them to be unranked and get to like ten at the end of the season. But even NC with that, NC State stuffed at the goal line. Yeah, you know, NC State is not a team that does well as the hunted. Yeah, they correct. Got to be the hunter. Correct. NC State minus ten is my pick as well. All right, last game, great game. By the way, we're going to be in Vegas. Uh, you can watch this while like, I think this game will be ending when, when Canelo and Triple G starts. So go to zone.com. Going to be an incredible night. Dave, Robbie, myself, Caleb, Roan. I think Large is in the mix. It's yep. going to be a great broadcast. We also, I talked to All Business Pete, we have some of the technical things figured out. Yeah, it's going to be more our control speed. Correct. So, and yeah. including the ability, which I think is going to be fantastic. So if you remember the first time we did Canelo – we were trying to run it like Rough and Rowdy. We were like, all right, quick interview between rounds. It didn't really work that way. We now have the ability, if Caleb and Roan see a big celebrity, they can interview them, and then we can play it back after the fight. All right. So cool. we so they don't have to miss big interviews, and then we can use that in between fights. Love so it. it's going to be a great night. Uh, Zone.com, D-A-Z-N.com. Uh, Miami, Texas A&M. Texas A&M, minus five, over under 45. What a week for Texas A&M. They I, lose, and then they just spent the entire week trying to scrub the internet of how embarrassing they are. And here is the yell leaders and the way they're talking. And, and I, in a weird way, God bless them, that because you've heard A&M or people like even Cold Hard – no, uh, Cold Hard Takes or whatever that is. Like the people that know the yell leaders, I knew what the yell leaders are. I hadn't seen it. I didn't know that they got away with like just jokes that – really in no society nowadays are you allowed to make like yeah. they're, they're doing jokes that get people like basically canceled they're not like the most 
over the top, but you you don't hear jokes like that right. in front of 50,000 or however many people. So in a weird way, I respect it. But it, it is A&M. It's awkward. It's uncomfortable. And if you're going to make the jokes how they can't read and they're hillbillies and this and that and everything like it, you can't let them come in and kick your teeth in. No. So no. a bad week for A&M, hand up. I was buying the A&M Kool-Aid. Yeah. I was buying it. And I wasn't, and then you – Got in my brain. Yeah, so they're done. Their season is over. Uh, I don't think Miami is good. So I don't know what to do. I'm going to take the points here with Miami, which I absolutely can't believe I'm saying I'm doing because I was sold on AM, not Miami. But it is what it is. There was nothing flukish about the way App State beat. They just ran it they down just, their throat. They just fucking smoked them. Um, would it shock me if AM covered? No, because I don't think Miami is that good. Um, so – I'm going to take the Hurricanes, but neither team I am sold on. Who do you think? Do you think they're going to make the change of quarterback, Dan? A&M? They should. I, he was warming up. Max Johnson is their backup. Uh, Brad Johnson's big – shout out Big Bad Brad. Maybe the greatest trick shot artist of all time. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen his Instagram. Brad Johnson obviously won a Super Bowl at the Bucks. He just Oh, yeah, of course. He just does trick shots all day. And what's he got to do with anything? It's his son. <laughs> Max Johnson's oh, oh, the backup. Oh, his son. Neck. Yeah, yeah. He he played at LSU. He transferred to Texas A&M. Haynes King is the starter. He's terrible. Um, yeah, I think it, I think if they played Max Johnson last week, they would have won that game. I don't know. I mean, they couldn't stop. They couldn't stop App yeah. State. Still would be his first start, right? I don't like it, but I, I do think Miami has more upside. I'm going to go with Miami. Yeah, I, I like I liked Van Dyke coming in as like kind of a Heisman sleeper. He he didn't have a great game last week, but they left some points on the board. I've watched more of Miami than A and M, uh, and I'm buying Miami more than I am A and M. Just a crazy question, which obviously there's nothing you do, but it's almost rhetorical. But I mean, the Sun Belt, like they're, awesome. they're like the best conference in yeah. the country. Like yeah. they beat Notre Dame. They beat A and M, and who is the other? No, one? Marshall's Nebraska. not. Is Marshall? Marshall, Marshall now is. He's yeah, in the Sun Belt. Yeah. yeah. And, and who is the other one? Uh, Nebraska. Nebraska. Yeah. Not that Nebraska, but and Georgia State almost beat UNC. Yeah. So like, at what? I mean, should they get a playoff bid? I mean, what? Yeah. They're Although, fucking awesome. You can you can say whatever you want. A and M and Notre Dame are two teams that were playoff teams that Correct. both Correct. on the road. You go in and beat those teams. Well, that's yeah. why we said it a million times. Those preseason rankings are the Garbage. biggest piece of shit. Terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible. Brutal. All right, I'm taking Miami as well. Did I get your pick, Miami. Rico? Miami, yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're all taking Miami plus five. Um, I just I think it's going to be a low-scoring game. I, I, I feel like it's a field goal game. Um, okay, before we do our cards and our locks, Rico. Yeah, uh, let's talk to you about our friends at BetterHelp. Good. Uh, now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. It can be tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. But when you learn how to find your own solutions, there's no better feeling. A therapist can make you, uh, can help you feel better, uh, become a better problem solver, making it easier to accomplish your goals, no matter how big or small. I've used BetterHelp. It's obviously helped me. Everyone kind of knows where I am. Uh, if you're thinking of giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists anytime. When you want to become a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit, be, visit BetterHelp.com slash Pick'em today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash Pick'em, P-I-C-K-E-M. Okay, uh, let's do our cards. Let's do our cards. Rico, would you like to start? Sure. I'm going. I'm going lighter card to start. I will have ads. A lot of overs. I will have ads later. Friday night, Air Force team total over thirty and a half. Wyoming gave up two sixty to Illinois. I've watched all of Air Force. I think Air Force Boise has some problems. Air Force going to win that conference. Air Force over thirty one and a half. I was on team total last week. No, I'm Air so Force is definitely the. Um, Air Force is going to win the Commanders Cup this year. They're by far the best of those teams. Right. Air Force over 30 and a half. That's Friday night. Uh, Northern Illinois, Vandy over 58 and a half. Vandy can't really stop anybody. I'm high on Northern What's Illinois. The score in that? What's the uh, line in that game? I saw three. Oh, yeah. But like preseason, they were predicting that Northern Illinois was actually going to be a eight-point favorite. I be I'm pretty positive the game is in Northern Illinois. It is. Yeah. So they were predicting in preseason to be like an eight-point favorite. It's dropped. Northern Illinois loses a tough one to Tulsa last week. Vandy can't stop anybody over 58 and a half. Coastal, 
minus 14 against Buffalo. Coastal first half, minus 7.5. I said I wasn't going to do this unless I really love it. Coastal's going to kill Buffalo. Buffalo allowed 219 rush yards to Holy Cross last week. Four lost on a Hail Mary, didn't four, they? Yep, 457 total. Coastal's got two guys averaging 4.4 yards plus a clip. Coastal runs all over them. Coastal at home. That's where I have Buffalo on my card. Buffalo plus 14. Holy Cross, by the way, underrated like some of the best uniforms at college football. They're fucking sick. Yeah. You like Buffalo, huh? Well, I, I like it because of what you just said. Like, I, I liked it before. I'm not doing it as a fade, but, like, Buffalo lost to Holy Cross. Everyone's going to be like, Coastal's going to kill him. So, I like Buffalo. Fair. Uh, Kansas-Houston over 58. Kansas offense is way more improved. Holgerson uh, will tell his team not to take this team lightly after coaching the Big 12 for so long. Clayton Toon's good. They're going to know that they have to score over 58. Uh, Georgia first half minus 13 and a half against South Carolina. I think they smush them. I'm also going to go with the over of 52. I don't think South Carolina can stop Georgia. And I think I really do think Georgia might cover this themselves. You like the under. I can tell. Oh, okay. That that also seems like a Rico trap game. I think Georgia's very, very good. I, think I took strong. South Carolina last week. Like, now I'm – yeah, okay, fair. Tulane, K-State over 47. Willie Fritz for Tulane is very pesky. Uh, I'm high on K-State, but they have a look ahead. I believe it's Oklahoma next week. I think Tulane can get a couple of scores here, keep it closer than people expect, and we get over 47. Also, K-State put up 40 in, a, in weather delays last week. Their offense is clicking over 47. Uh, and that should be it before the uh, – Yeah, uh, Georgia State team total over 40 and a half. Um, Charlotte can't stop anybody. They're both 0-2, but it's a different 0-2. Georgia State was right there against Carolina. Um, I'm going with Georgia State's team total over 40 and a half. They'll run all over. I'll have that as well because I have Georgia State as well. Um, all right, I'll do my card, and then, Dave, will you do, do yours? I have Nebraska plus 11, Maryland SMU over 63 and a half. I got a couple stinky ones, boys. I got some stinky ones this week. Iowa minus 23 against Nevada. I Nevada's that bad. I know Iowa sucks. I think I think this is a game that Iowa will score between 14 and 17 points off of, you know, field position and and uh turnovers. Your SMU it's 73 and a half. Oh, 7 what You did said I say? 60. You're right. Slowly 73 right. and a half. Sorry, I wrote it down wrong. I love it at 63 and a, I love it at 63 and a half. It's a discount. I'll take it at 73. It's and a half. Justin Fields <laughs> number. It's a I'll Justin tell you Fields what, number. 63 and a half. That <laughs> That was a good bet. That was a good bet when I thought it was 63 and a half. Fuck. I'm sticking with it. All right. Um, I have uh, North Texas UNLV over 62. Old Dominion plus 10. UVA's offensive line is a mess. I think that game's going to stay close. Stinky one alert. Stinky one alert. Temple plus 17 and a half against Rutgers. Kurt Warner's son is now uh, – he came in in the last game against Temple, was a lot better than their quarterback. He's going to start this game against Rutgers. It's a stinky one, Dave. Rutgers may not stink. No, I know. This is a real – taking Temple 17.5 yeah. is psycho shit. Where's the um, game? In Philly. Uh, Minnesota minus 27.5. Also, their first half team total over 20.5. They're playing Colorado. They're going to smush them. Ohio State Toledo over 61. Wisconsin under 46 and a half. Here's the other part of the Iowa Iowa State game. I'm taking Ohio plus 18 versus Iowa State. Uh, Iowa State beat Iowa for the first time in forever. What the so hell? I like that game. Georgia State minus 19 uh, and over 40 and a half is the team total. 40 and a half. Yep, I agree. Charlotte's, I mean, garbage. Another stinky one. Another stinky one. Notre Dame minus 10 and a half against Cal. This is just, you got to go reverse. Have you seen, I'm nearly positive, have you seen the uniform selection for Notre Dame? I don't even care. It's green. just a total, like, Same buy low. breaking out the green. If they beat Marshall, this is a 21-point spread. You saw it's Drew Pine starting. Drew Pine, yep, I did I see think that. think it's green jerseys. Yep, I, this is, again, that's a spot I don't like. I don't li I think Notre Dame stinks, but they're going to win a game, and they're going to win it convincingly, and everyone's going to be like, Notre Dame's back. Western Kentucky plus seven against Indiana. Georgia minus 24, also Georgia minus 14 first half. Also, I love these quarter bets, Georgia minus six and a half first quarter. The quarter bets are thrilling, Dave. Thrilling. Thrilling. Um, Fresno plus 13 over 73 with USC. Ole Miss, Georgia Tech under 64. 
and also Tennessee, Akron, another first quarter bet, Tennessee minus 11 and a half. I know that Tennessee just won a, a slugfest with Pitt. Akron is that bad. So I'm just, I think Tennessee can get 14 points in the first half with their eyes closed. Hang on one second, Dave. What do you got? I'm going to clear up the first half because you said 14 and I had 13 and a half what I wrote down. It's uh, 13 Georgia, and a half? Georgia 13 and a half. Great. This way we're all on the same there page. There we go. I love it. I love it. Help so there the you go. Producer. I screwed up Even though the producer throws you under the bus. Against- I will say that Tennessee game, Dan, I looked at because Akron does suck. Person. Tennessee coming off that slob knocker, looking at Florida the next week. Social. I know. That's why I'm just hoping first quarter because I, I, I was thinking about taking them. A 47 and a half is a crazy number. I just think like they can do it half speed yeah. and get up two touchdowns but right. i agree it's a bad it's a it's, stupid it's spot. a tough spot yep. for them uh my car byu plus three and a half against oregon already gave that out um i'm kind of buying less miles over there kansas a little bit yeah he's starting not there. To tur- he hasn't been there well whoever's there <laughs> Leipold. remember he he was actually fired in who so who's Ma- that it's a guy named uh, Leipold. Leipold. he was from buffalo i'm i'm buying Lance Leipold. less miles uh, are you sitting down He's dead. Yeah, he he did some fucked up shit, so he got canceled and was fired in disgrace from Kansas. Well, I'm glad we got this other guy in there then. <laughs> Whoever this guy is, I'm buying. Uh, Kansas plus ten against Houston over fifty six double. Um, Western Michigan at home against Pitt plus ten. What's the quarterback situation at Pitt? TBD, not official yet. Yeah, I knew he was hurt. Is he out? I don't know. He is. There's nothing official. Is a- this is now the only thing I'll say about this. This is a revenge game for Pitt. Why? Because Western Michigan beat them last year at home. I actually think they can beat them again this okay. year. So and, and players move so much. The, without the quarterback, that other guy, yeah. they're afraid to throw. Yep. So I like Western Michigan. And Western Michigan sort of put up a little fight against Michigan State. Um, I like Michigan State against Washington, plus three and a half. Like, is that this week? Yeah. Why didn't we talk about that game? Uh, it's underwhelming. Yeah, Not Washington really. stinks. It, Washington it's my is, mortal lock, but yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, but I yeah I, I mean, went Washington between that is and, fucking favored. I yeah no I went between that and Texas Tech and NC State. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so that was the fourth. What what is Michigan State ranked right now? Eleventh. Yeah. So I mean, an underdog three and a half at the road. I like when Washington is good, but I like Michigan State here. I think they're better plus three and a half. Um, I'm taking UTSA plus twelve and a half and the over sixty one and a half against Texas. I think Texas is a letdown after uh, almost beating Alabama. By the way, Sarkeesian, who said I believe uh, we won or something to that effect. Oh yeah. No, you did not. Oh yeah. And that to me is what are you making face? I, you're, it's a crazy comment. Listen, crazy. That's you can make got that fucked by the refs on the You, you can make that comment. The, he, he meant one it was a moral victory right yeah. yeah yeah you can make that comment if you're holy cross and you fall short i've said this about michigan there's no moral victories at the university of texas no. like you played to win national championships Correct. not come close um anyways i think there's a letdown utsa and that line to be honest jumped i thought when i saw it i'm like oh texas after that alabama will be a 21 point favorite nope so i like them utsa uh, has given up a ton of points too well, I got the over two, so that works in my favor. Uh, but I, I, I think Texas kind of sleepwalks coming through that game. Um, Miami plus five and a half. I don't love it, but I knew we'd talk about it. It's on my card against. I like Purdue against Syracuse plus one and a half. I was wrong on UConn uh, against Syracuse. I thought they'd keep it close. Syracuse has actually looked very good. Very good. Louisville came back and won. I'm not buying Syracuse. If Syracuse beats me this week, then I will uh, say daddy and stop going against them. I also like the over in that game, 59. I kind of talked myself. I know, Rico, you mentioned it. Georgia, very, very good. South Carolina, it's one of those places I just – in fact, did they beat Georgia at South Carolina a couple years ago? I think they may have. I think I may have stepped out of an airport and watched the end of that game. I see this – In the rain. That does sound familiar. South Carolina played – Sneaky against Arkansas. They were that game. We were watching it, and like they were sneaky. I don't know. Twelve o'clock kick. Everyone's crowning Georgia the national champs. That's a lot of points. I think I'm going to take South Carolina in a Georgia. I don't know. That game just spells sneaky to me. Um, It was 2019. What 2019? South Carolina won 20 to 17 at Athens. It's pretty good memory. Pretty good memory. Also 2014. You know what? I think that was also. The Toledo, the Toledo game, if I'm be, if I'm remembering correctly. Flip, now I remember where I was watching you. that game. Uh, yeah, that was a, that was dark day. So uh, that is that is my board. Sorry to hear about Les Miles. Uh, 
<laughs> All right, mortal locks. By the way, I, I don't know what he did, so I can't be held responsible. What but, did he do but, again? He like I think like up. too friendly. Like every team has kind of like the girls who kind of help with game day. That's right. And like like the welcoming staff was a little like we need hot blondes, big boobs. Oh. Like said whatever. No, it's college but, football, baby. But like, it was saying, something else. That's <laughs> about. That's college football. <laughs> what are you gonna have? Ugly wrong. girls meeting the recruits. Does Hooters hire ugly it girls? Was inappropriate behavior towards female students. I think it was him personally. Yeah. He's a handsy guy. He's got the like. No, I'm I'm, I'm saying that stuff in jest. But college football, with not all his transgressions, notwithstanding, like when he's at LSU or Coach O, like those those guys. Like, do you remember that streak of like the weirdest play calls all working oh, yeah. in his favor? The oh, Mad yeah. Hatter, yep, absolutely. One Chewing on the grass, eating the grass. Matt, yeah. The mass, Mad Hatter is one of the great nicknames. But you, can, I mean, you got to let. Obviously, he's gonna Mad Hat a little bit. Yeah. Okay, uh, Mortal Locks. But I, and I'm not saying this may be clipped. I have no problem with having attractive females meet the recruits. I yeah, think I think that he was kiss. I think he was trying to kiss them. That could be a little much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wanted blondes with big breasts and pretty girls. But that 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 yeah, I would football, use it in yeah. that. But like, doesn't every single school touch do it's that? It's when you yeah. say it, like yeah. yeah. It's, it's like today's is like if it's in if it's in an email, it's a bad look. Yeah, right. I think every program operates the same. Correct. I think the problem was he was not setting it up for the recruits. Like I actually himself was watching his type. And this is going down one of those things. Who knows? We'll cut it because it's such a thing. But I was watching a documentary on Abercrombie and Fitch. Like oh, the, yeah. Did you watch yeah. it? Are they so, problematic? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big oh, time. yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it I would knew be a like, girl who worked there. No. Uh, was she an attractive white person? Yes. Well, you, that's might all. Be, you might be working there in January. Nah, I'm Ara Pastel. Okay. So... Uh, the, my question on it, I watch and they they discriminate. Dave hiring. silence when you bring that joke up is alarm. Like now it's very worrisome. But you know, they have a good benefit package at Air we'll yeah. and it's like very easy to do things to show that you actually want to be here. Um, yeah, well, but the good news is Air Pastel doesn't do the top twenty blog rankings every right. week. So the documentary basically Abercrombie and Fitch only would hire attractive white people. And I was watching, I'm like, if they just hired attractive everybody, I think you're fine, right? Like, Hooters can discriminate based on looks for hiring, can't yes, they? Yes, I would say so. Right. So, like, college football, can't you, like, what? Yeah, you just can't kiss them. Right. Can't or kiss say the it? students. I think it's one of those things you just got to be like, if you're less miles, you're like, hey, so we got our, we got our like, on-site recruiting set up, then you're good. Like that, because then it's like everyone knows what you're saying, but you're not saying it. Got it. It's like the the Brett Favre text messages, when he's like, "Hey, is there any way the media could find out?" <laughs> the governor, Unbelievable. Was, the governor was like, "No, we're good." <laughs> so, I, I, should have used the burn. He's such a piece of shit. To show my maturity, that's not tracked back to us. I wanted to make a joke about that, and I'm like, I'm I, I just knew it wouldn't work. Yeah. A total joke, like it's crazy, but be like, well, you need a volleyball court, like. But I knew that wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, you can't, yeah. No. people on Twitter would not be happy no. with that. No. Um, okay, mortal locks. Two and one, two and one, two and one. Dukes, myself, Rico, and Dave all at the top. Dukes, Katie at the top. stats is one and one. Hank, Liam, and Aria, Ofer. Tough start for the Bob Diaco. Tough. If one of you guys wins the Bob Diaco, it would be a hell of a comeback story. Because we're at the point, we're it's not there yet. Three weeks of the season. No, I know, I know, but there's only 14, 15 weeks. If you go 0 and 4, you're done. Because you got to then jump everyone. There's still time. Okay. I do have a quick, quick, speaking of, this might be a good blog, Rico. Uh, yeah, he, I, I'm well, curious. I'll, I'll blog it. He I'm blog curious it. to hear your guys' take on it. It was a TikTok that Rico made after the Seahawks game when Russell Wilson lost and then was doing a jersey swap, and Rico was like, if you lose the game, you can't do a jersey swap. But then there's no jersey swaps. Right. But I kind of get what he's saying. But – you you just should say there should never be a jersey swap. Yeah, it was an instant reaction. If if you're the bigger name and you lose, like you can't do. So, you're Russell Wilson. But he did it with DK. A, he was like. So uh, just to bring this up, and, and that's a blog. That's a blog. That is a blog. That's a blog. That's a very good blog. What Things do you guys that pop think? in your head, just blog them. And if you made a TikTok, I didn't see it. Put the TikTok on the blog, blog. post the blog, you're there. Blog gets made. That's blogging. Throw 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 some tits at the bottom. Blog gets made. A couple gifts. <laughs> yeah. Maybe cut up Kate Upton doing like the, the cat daddy or whatever. 
boom, blog gets made. Or the Dougie. She did the Dougie, Dougie all time. Yeah. A lot of boys. Remember where out, we came a from. Boy, a lot of boys found out where their plums lived yeah. that day. We're, we were we were we were born born in the soil of smut, right? We've sprouted out to be a beautiful tree. <laughs> <laughs> but just remember, you guys. Sometimes you got to get your hands in the dirt. You got to get back to back to what what brought us here. Okay, Katie. Uh, Ole Miss, sixteen and a half. Okay. Bubba, zero for three. Zero for three. Uh, I'm gonna go LSU plus two at home Who against Mississippi State. Mississippi State. Yep. That's a pretty good game I didn't too. See that on yeah. there? Yeah. Uh Hank, 0 for 3. Yeah, I'm rattled because I really liked uh, Miami, and then you guys talked about yeah, it, and I can't it. go against Coach O. Wait, what? You mean you liked Oklahoma? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess I just don't know if I can flip a mortal lock. No, do it. Oklahoma, minus 11. Do it. What was that? I didn't say a word. He said something. Someone whispered something. I said, I don't know. I missed that Mississippi LSU game. I didn't even know they're playing this week. I'm gonna, I'm, Miami, Miami. Do Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Oklahoma minus eleven. That's your mortal lock. Oklahoma by Aria. seven. All right, you good? Just checking in on you. You good? Yeah, I'm doing all right. I saw some Instagram. Yeah, got a little emotional. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, uh, hey, all... we love you. I appreciate that. Okay, I got you. Thank you. Um, I'm going <laughs> with uh, USC minus uh, 13 and a half. Okay, mm. USC minus 13 and a half against Fresno. Dukes. Yeah, there's some good ones out there this weekend. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I like them. <laughs> well, more to lock. I like lock. Buffalo plus 14. Okay, yeah, you're that, with me. Oh, I love it. Yeah. yeah. What, was your, stinky one. what was your issue with Dukes' uh, graphic? Dave? They're disgusting. Why? The graphic, the pick and parlay graphic. Oh, yes. It, it, well, it's like gone? we we, a, we have it's hard to the see it. actual like bet that you can post like the ticket like i post the ticket which is crystal clear shareable everything versus something that looks like is designed to be nuclear codes Listen, for, like so the chinese can't read it dukes is he's <laughs> dukes i'll say this about dukes he's coachable cuz the first week he said it wasn't him who did it i well, i can i just I was very like I took it as a compliment when Jack McCarthy texted me. He's like, "Dave never wants to see this graphic again." I was like, "Wow, Dave thought that I could make this graphic." Yeah, yeah, that's that true. Was, that meant a well, lot to I, me. I mean, I thought the graphic was disgusting. Yeah. I, yeah, I, 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 I really <laughs> hope a graphic designer didn't make that graphic. If you want, if you want, who a made that graphic? Um, I'll take the fall for yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, I'll, good, yeah. good man, Dukes. And if you want, if you want a specific graphic, I'll get it done. Yes, we. But here's my point, though. We it. I kind of want to see a Dukes. The sports Dukes. Yeah, Dukes, you make your own <laughs> right. this week. All right, fine. But let's also, yeah, we got to see what Dukes comes <laughs> let, up let's with. Let's do the Dukes graphic. Dukes graphic. <laughs> fine. Just follow Barstool Pick'em. He will tweet it from there. I, Dukes is coachable. Week one, he sent me the cards, and he had games in the most ridiculous order I've ever seen. It was like a game from Saturday, then a game from Thursday, then a game from Monday, then a game from Saturday. Like, could not follow it. Told him, hey, why don't we just do it in order of time? He's like, got it. Sometimes, Good like, uh, like coach, you, you got to cut down the playbook. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Just go straight chronological. Yeah. Fine, Start you, you make the graphic. We'll see what we get. I'll be 1% better. I don't better like when week. people yes. don't tell me, though, like, who made that. I should know who the morons are at this company. But you're not going to know who the kid is anyway. So I then if he offers to do something for me, I'd be like, no. It yeah, no, I won't. Guy? I won't make graphics for you anymore. Hey, was it this guy? <laughs> make this graphic, Dukes. Be the best one we've seen. All right, we'll hey, see. Was it this guy, because he should burn. <laughs> and by the way, by the way, I, I want Dukes to make the graphic, but I will just was reiterate. Him? Was it him? I will just reiterate that, that the pick graphics. 'em parlay, like if you place a bet for a dollar, I I do five grand. That graphic is as clear, concise, correct. But let's you do your graphic this week and see what I we want. Do. I got some Dukes ideas graphic. up my sleeve. Yeah, right. I'm sure right. you do. Knowing that we already have the perfect graphic, but go ahead. Yeah, that's automatically generated by the sports book that you can share. But you do your graphic. I want to see Duke's graphic. Yeah, I want to see all the bells and whistles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Rico, you're more to lock. The Dukes give his Buffalo. Yeah. yeah, I'm on Charlotte, Georgia State over sixty. Okay. Uh, like I said, both 0-2. I think Georgia State's a way different 0-2. Lost to South Carolina in a game they left points on the board. Uh, should have beat Carolina. They were right there. Charlotte's D is abysmal. Uh, Georgia State ran for 235 versus UNC and 200 for South Carolina. They are going to crush Georgia State. I'm okay. sorry. They're going to crush Charlotte. 
They might put up 60 themselves. Over 60. Okay. Um, I'm going to take Michigan State plus three and a half. I think Michigan State's good. I don't believe in Washington. Big 10 teams don't lose to Pac-12 teams. That just doesn't happen. So, I like Michigan State plus three and a half. <laughs> what? See what you did there? What? What I do? Big Ten teams don't lose to Pac-12 teams. Got yeah, it. Listen, I, I I I don't know. I did my board today, and I when I missed the LSU game, I went back and looked, and there's a couple games I'm adding to my card that are not my mortal locks. I want to add them right now. But Dan, you just mentioned it. Washington State minus 17 at home against Colorado State. I know Washington State's coming off a big win, but Colorado State is really really bad. So what? I think this could be like a 50 point Washington State victory. I really like them at home. Borderline like thought about putting me in more to lock didn't even see the game uh i also like south alabama going to ucla keep that close plus 15 i like the over there 59 and a half so that's just three games i add to my card that i somehow missed my mortal lock and i don't know if it should be that washington state game but i already have the other one in my mind do i want to flip it to wash state no i'm gonna do this i think this is a smart day if you're using your head Troy, plus 12 and a half at App State. App State mm-hmm. coming off that gigantic win. These are rivals that generally, I believe, play very close games. Katie, can you get me the last time, the last like five matchups, Troy and App State? App State's got uh, game day there. Game day there. Fine. Yes. That, Biggest game that to, of their career. That to me is even better. Yeah, Troy no, I State, agree. Troy is sitting there watching – App State this, App State that, App State this. I think they go toe to toe with them. App State's won the last four. I'll check the Oh, App State won the last four. All right. Scores. Um, last year, 40, 45 to 7. Bad. 47 to 10. Bad. 48 to 13. Bad. 21 to 10. Let's cross that off. <laughs> I will go with Washington State. <laughs> I mean,. You got to know when you're wrong. <laughs> those, those numbers, I love the spot, but that is bad. Those numbers don't fuck around. You know what? <laughs> I will bad. stay with Troy, but I am not going to mortal lock will be Washington State. Okay. Washington State's got who? Uh, Colorado, Colorado State, State at home, minus 17. All right. Yep. No issues in Colorado? In-state games? No. Oh, in terms I'm of? I'm just no. clearing nope. up. Yeah. You got, no. You're good and we're nope. good? All right, good. No, nope. we're good. Uh, okay. That was Barstool Pick'em week Three. That was a great show. So when Troy played them tough, I guess the fucking not. We're 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 rounding into form here. Yeah, right. we're doing. You know, good job, Rico. Next That's week, crazy. top twenty. Right. You gonna get there? We'll see. How? Are you not doing? How is the spite? answer not just yes? The games get played. Or you can't. No, no, no. You can prepare. No, I said, are you gonna get? They said top twenty blogs. You're gonna get there. Yeah. The, I'll prepare. You said we'll see. I don't understand what that answer is. Just blog and you're there, right? But if you write 15 blogs, you will be in the top 20. Rico right. was gonna walk out of the show and just be like, "Dave and I disagree about the top 20 blogs." <laughs> like, just do it. He said, "Do it." That's literally all you should do. 15. We'll see. If you're a betting man, do you think he's gonna be in it this week? I don't know. The we'll see. Maybe. Can we go around the room I real thought, quick? Yes. I, yay nay. Ended on a yay nay. Katie, who ends yay, up nay. on the list first, Rico or Billy? Not to send him a ricochet shot. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, I believe. Bubba. Yes. Hank. No, he needs motivation. <laughs> All right. Top ten. Maybe green light those college uh, coach interviews, Hank, that you're so gloriously talking about. <laughs> When what? What? If, what's that going to do? It's all good. He's not looking at you right now. He's giving you. He's giving you. Yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. red light them. I'm going to say yay. You've red lit me. But goddamn, am I nervous? <laughs> that's not, that's not I actually, as true. as stunning as this sounds, even, what does that I'm going to say mean? nay. Nay? Because I, it's like it hasn't happened yet. And he said we'll see. He right. said he's got to prepare. I don't know what that means. You just blog. You don't prepare. You just it's, blog. It's it's no different than like being like, hey, will you take out the trash? We'll see. Yeah, right. Like, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. take out the trash. Uh, are you going to show up to work this week? We'll, <laughs> we'll see. see. Uh, all right. It's so easy. Yeah, we do have a few in the drafts. Okay. Quick hitters. Yeah. All right. Maybe green light that fucking coach's interviews. I know. Hey? He said I just re- he said I red lighted him. <laughs> I said I didn't red light that. Red light you red lighted everything, Rico. Uh, red light apparently. district. Red when, light Rico. when Rico's name comes across your desk, you go red light. I got, you, what, you got one of those big like you get a big stamp. You know the red stamps just denied yeah. every time. Every time yeah. credit green, denied. Yeah, pretty uh, lenient with the other green lights. Oh, 
What does that mean? It's all right, red light Rico, red light district. I know what it means. It, the the ba- the basketball good. podcast they're doing on their own. Red light, which Rico. anyone that, can do. That was not. That's if that's Dave. what you're referring to. That was not greenlit. That all is good. a no budget, no resource event. I'm also like just the yellow light. Dave is the is a lot of the times the the red or green. I'm just I'm just middleman. I'm gonna green light you blogging this week. Got it. Okay. Got to prepare. Gotta Speaking prepare. of red lights, uh, what? drive safely. Uh, Port Authority police officer from Staten Island, former MLB player, pitched for the Red yeah. Sox. We're, we're selling a shirt, I believe. Yeah. Um, Anthony Vavaro, 37, four kids under eight, got hit going the wrong way, uh, going into work voluntarily on September 11th. The shirt oh. is up. Guy pitched for the Red Sox. Horrific, horrific story. Port Authority's been great. They reached out to the merch team. I'm obviously a Staten Islander getting behind it. Um, yeah. They great got that. Shirt. They got That's the, the Red Sox one is in the Red Sox colors. Love it. Horrific guys. Staten Island guy. Supposed to be one of the nicest guys in the world. Volunteers as his kids. Little League. Horrible. So drive safe. Also, if, you know, if you have some in you, call a fucking Uber. Yeah. Amen to Agreed. that. Agreed. Absolutely. Right.